Welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. We're here in Goldenrod City, and it's been a long time since I've ridden my bike, actually, so... Pokemon, they're nothing more than tools for making money. So if you walk around Goldenrod, uh, you'll find that there are Team Rocket members kind of blocking the way of everything. Stay out of the way! Beat it! Uh, our dream will soon come true. It was such a long struggle. So you can't really do anything in Goldenrod other than go pretty much straight to the radio tower. So here it is! Take over the radio tower. What? It's none of your business! So this is the radio tower. What do you want, you pest Oh, we talked to that guy. We talked to that guy the first time I came to Goldenrod. Hello, I'm sorry, but we're not offering any tours today. Okay. Well... Ah, oh, come on, man. We've finally taken over the radio tower! Now everyone will get to experience the true terror of Team Rocket. We'll show you how scary we are. Yep, so Team Rocket has... Uh, invaded the radio tower and taken control of it, so now, uh, I guess, apparently, for some reason, it's our job to fucking take care of them. Because, God knows there's no police in the Pokemon world. Even though, Officer Jenny is a thing. Well, that's only in the anime. Well, she was in, um, Pokemon Yellow, too, technically, but only because she was in the anime. Because Pokemon Yellow was meant to correspond with the anime, but anyway. In the last, I don't really want to just continually talk about Team Rocket and how much they're, how fucking terrible they are. So, um, I'll tell you about I'll co a continuation of the story from the last episode. When I was talking about uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. Um, so, you know, a quick recap for those of you who uh, didn't watch the last episode. Um, which I don't know why you why you didn't. You probably should, because I fought Price, and that was a kind of like a, a milestone. Earned our seventh badge. Um, but... Quick recap was I, I was playing Super Mario Bros. 3 on the NES, and I thought I should pl I should record footage of this and play uh, play all the music and sound effects on the piano in the background. Why would they want to take over the radio tower? So a continuation of that story, I guess, is that I tried learning um, all the songs. Huh? Today's password? Help, of course. Of course. Ha ha ha! How boring. It was far too easy to take over this place. Come on, keep me amused. So I tried learning a bunch of the Super Mario Bros. 3 songs, and uh, some of them were pretty fucking hard. Um, some of them were also pretty easy, but most of them were pretty difficult. Um, one in particular that was, I find difficult is the uh, Fortress theme, which is like... Dun dun dun, dun 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 dun. Um... I could not find, like, a good sheet music for that one for some reason. Everything else is fine. Just uh, the fortress theme for some reason. I found one uh, I found one sheet for that. Um, but it was just not very good. So I didn't really I didn't really feel like using it. But anyway, the point is I tried learning the piano songs, um, gave up after about four hours of trying to learn them. But I mean I, at least I still I learned a few songs that I can play, you know, recreationally I guess. And it's it's always cool to know these types of songs. Take down? Um... No, I don't really care that much. You could evolve though, that'd be great. If you would do... do so. <laughs> Who are you? Nope, okay. No evolution for me. We're Team Rocket! The exploiters of Pokemon! I like that key change, that was pretty pretty well timed. We love being evil. Scared? No, not really. I'm assuming you have like eradicate or something. Um, but anyway, after I after I tried and failed to learn the music on the piano, I just said, well, I have this game that I just got in the mail today, so I may as well play it. Um, and so I popped it in my NES. I started playing it, and I was in World 1, and I was like, well, I don't, I don't really have time to play through the entire game right now. It was like it was like one o'clock, and so I was like, "Well, you know what I'll do is I'll just go through and find the, the the two whistles in the first world, and then just skip straight to world eight and finish the game from there." Which, mind you, I've I've never done before. Um, I have done the warp thing hundreds of times before. Well, I don't want I don't want to say hundreds, uh, a, a lot of times before, but I, I've never actually finished the game from that point, um, just because I've always found like the 
final levels in World 8 uh, a little, a tad too difficult for my taste. Um, so I never actually completed the game from that point. Um, so last night, I, I did the whistle, the warp whistle thing, went to World 8, straight from World 1, and um, actually ended up completing the game. And, you know, I, I surprised myself, because I've never done that before. Um, in particular, the one airship level in World 8, um, with the, all, like, all the airships and the, 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 the fucking, what are they called? The, the, the wrench moles, the moles that fucking throw the wrenches, um, that goes super fast auto-scrolling. That level has always been the hardest level in that game for me, probably. And then, of course, um, stage 8-1, level 8-1 has always been hard for me as well. You think you're a hero? Uh, when I was younger, I used to just... Actually, up until just recently... Hey, hey, keep out of our way! I used to just use a P-Wing on 8-1 and just fly over the whole stage because I didn't want to deal with it. But, um, recently I've been trying to, you know, actually do it the legit way. Um by like hopping over all the fucking bullet bills and shit and hopping on them to get over pits. It's crazy. 8-1 is fucking crazy ass level, but it's fun. It's fun because it's difficult, I guess. But you know, I just, I really like Super Mario 3, so. The point is, I finished the game and I beat, I beat Bowser and all that junk. Um, but then once I finished the game and the, the, the end thing came up, you know, the final, screen of the game uh, rather than turning off my NES and going to bed like any sane person would do at what like it was like 1:30 in the morning at that point um, I pressed start and it took me back to the title screen and so I thought well you know what I kind of you know after doing that I feel pretty good about myself and my ability in this playing this game and you know I really like Super Mario Bros 3 it's a lot of fun so I might as well just, you know, play it through from the beginning, like play through all the worlds instead of just skipping right to World 8 like a fucking cheater. And so I did. Um, I started all over again from World 1, went through all eight worlds. Three years ago, Team Rocket was forced to disband, but we're making a comeback here. Uh, mind you, I didn't play through all, like every single level. Um, I basically did more or less of a speed run, not like a serious speed run. Um, because, you know, obviously I'm not that good. Um, but just trying to complete the game as fast as I could, personally. And so I didn't play all the levels. I, uh, I skipped the ones that weren't entirely necessary. Um, but what, what I did not know until just last night was that when you, if you complete the game and then start up a new game without resetting your NES, um, they'll actually give you 28 P-Wings as a reward in your inventory automatically when you restart the game. So... Fucking come on, man. Really? You can't use minimize. It's fucking... It's, I call hacks, man. Um, but they give you a shit ton of P-Wings. And I, at first I thought it was a glitch. Because I'd never, I'd never witnessed that before. It's like, I, I, I started up in World 1, didn't really look at my inventory or anything, until I got to the Toad House when I got a mushroom from, from the, the box and went in my inventory and I noticed there was like a fucking a line of P-Wings. So I was just like, what the hell? Um, and I thought it was a glitch or something. I thought I was, I, I like recorded it. <laughs> I took a video of it and I was like, is this some kind of glitch, man? Like, what the hell? Um, but no, it's not a glitch. They give you that as a reward for beating the game once. Um, and so I guess technically uh, the second time I played through was not a real, true run of Mario 3, because I, I, <laughs> I used P-Wings on all of the airship stages, um, and I also used P-Wings on stages I just didn't really want to go through all the trouble of finishing the, the legit way. So, I will go back and, and do an actual legitimate run of that game eventually, but for now, I'm just happy with, with doing my my own personal little speed run with all the P-Wings and stuff. It's okay. I don't really... I will play through the game in its entirety eventually because um, my sisters and I used to play Mario 3 all the time um, when I was a very little, very little kid. And so it's... 
Um, I'm probably gonna end up playing it with them again. Gua, don't get cute uh, playing the multiplayer. Of course, they will they will be Luigi, not I. Um, in the next episode of Pokemon Crystal, we are going to continue in the Goldenrod Radio Tower, taking over Team Rocket. Um, it should be fun. See you then.